Hey guys, it's Rich Elias and Gadget, and we are looking at the all-new HTC One, aka the M8. While it looks slightly similar to the old one, it's actually slightly taller, but it's just as wide and almost just as slim. You still get a full metal body design here, but with the brushed metal finish, you just get that more premium feel. Plus, the edges are all rounded now, so it feels more like a finished product rather than like a prototype on the M7. The screen here is a 5-inch 1080p display, so it's slightly larger than the 4.7-inch panel on the M7. Performance isn't going to be an issue because you're getting a Snapdragon 801 chip running at 2.3GHz here. On the front side, you have a 5MP front-facing camera along with improved boom sound stereo speakers. And on the back, you get a pair of cameras this time around. One of them is the Ultra Pixel camera and the other is a depth camera. Every photo taken with this pair of cameras will actually store the depth data that lets you play with different effects like putting leaves or flower petals in front of it so that these objects will surround the subject. Or you can play with different sketches, different styles, different filters. A bit like the Lytro depth camera, you can actually play with refocus after taking these pictures. Our favorite feature is this 3D effect so that you can use the phone's gyroscope to sort of mess around with the subject in front of you. It's kind of addictive, to be honest. The new one comes with a nano SIM slot as well as a micro SD slot that lets you add up to 128 gigabytes of external storage. On the bottom side, you get the micro USB port as well as the headphone jack. And last but not least, you've got the power button and the TV remote at the top. The new one comes with Sense 6.0, which is essentially an enhanced version of Sense 5.5 built on top of Android KitKat. One of our favorite features is that you can now set your color scheme in settings, which adds a bit more flexibility and a bit more fun to your personalization of the phone. And of course, Blink Feed is here to stay, but again, if you don't want it, you can actually disable it, or you can bring it back at any time. Last but not least, you can get this dot view flip cover for your new one. You can double tap on it to check the time or notifications, or you can even swipe up to pick up phone calls through the case. And that's it for now, stay tuned for our in-depth review of the new HTC One.